All right. We got a question from Noah asking. Um, he just got his first um, letter from the uh, Deutsche Rentenversicherung, so from the uh, German public pension, um, with the statement how much pension he will get. Um, and he's asking if that will be enough. Um, well, um, so I know this um, letter. I got it um, as well before I um, before I exited um, the public pension. Um, so if you get it, um, there's two possibilities. Either you're above 27, I think, um, because then you will get it every single year. Or you worked in Germany for five years now. Um, so if you have, if you're unlike Noah and you haven't received this letter yet, um, don't worry about it. You will get it eventually if you're an employee here in Germany. Um, now um, this letter is, um, or uh, before we come to the, is the pension enough or not? Before I um, answer your question, um, this letter um, has a lot of. Um, if, 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 if you read it in, in German, it has many, many ifs and um, many, many maybes. Um, for my taste, um, too many um, ifs and too many maybes. Um, so, depending on how old you are right now, Noah, um, the public pension might be out of money already. Um, it could happen any time between 2030 and 2035. I think that's the latest um, projection that I've seen. I'm not saying it will run out of money. We will probably find a um, solution that it's not gonna run out of money um, by we um, saying the German state. Um, so I'm, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just I'm trying um, to prepare you. Um, that it's not it's probably not gonna be enough for your life in retirement and this is also what the letter says it also says get some additional pensions um, but to determine if the pension is enough for you or not um, so a good way to start for for anybody actually not just um, not just Noah is um, figure out your monthly budget um, so try to figure out how much you spend each, each month, um, net of course. And that's always a good way to start um, from your um, or for financial uh, planning. Figure out how much you need and spend right now. And then deduct from this what you get from the public pension. Um, but beware um, what you get from the public pension, what is on their um, letter. Um, this is the gross number. So if you are in the um, public health insurance, you have to pay public health insurance um, contributions on this number. And you also have to pay long-term care insurance on this number. Um, so deduct the net from the monthly budget um, that you need. There's lots of um, gross and net calculators on the internet. Um, if you can't seem to find one um, or it's too difficult, um, let us know, we'll help you with that. Um, so budget, deduct your public pension and then you have probably a delta, um, which is surprisingly high for many, many people. Um, and you need a solution how to fill this delta. So either um, you increase pension payments um, that you have um, or any other um, payments that you will get so for example rental income or dividend income or whatever um, or you can also um, decrease the monthly bed budget that um, you need um, but that's a good way to start figure out your but first figure out your budget deduct public pension from this but net not gross not what's on the letter and then see how you can fill the delta if there is any have fun